the anti-skid system provides maximum optimum efficiency of braking by maintaining a braking action just on the impending of a skid. A skid is when a tire on a surface no longer has contact with the underlying surface. Imagine, for example, you're landing and you are traveling down over a runway which has standing water. Okay, let's call it a contaminated runway with minimum three millimeters of water. As the tires travel at high speed down through the water which is left on the surface, the water will be going out of its way as the tire is making its way down. However, if the tire travels too fast or if the standing water cannot get away fast enough, the tire will start to ride on top of that layer of liquid. And when that happens, you lose all contact with the ground and you lose friction, which means braking is zero. This is called a skid, and it is as likely to happen in an aircraft as it is in a car. It is a function of the pressure in the tire and the grooves within the tire, as well as the surface conditions. But an anti-skid system, and in your car, this is called an ABS system, allows the braking system to detect if a wheel no longer has contact with the surface, hence it's starting to skid. And if this happens, we'll then release on that tire only the brakes allowing the wheel to spin up again and then apply the brake pressure again. This may be experienced as a tick, 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 as the brakes will release apply, release, apply, release, apply. And maybe you have experienced in your car, again, it can feel like a jerking motion, but it protects the wheels from locking up, which otherwise will render the braking absolutely useless. Not to mention, you will lose control. As you have no contact with the surface, you can lose control of the aircraft. The anti-skid system is imperative in an aircraft this size. Because while you may be feeling that you're skidding in the, in the comfort of your car, you will not be able to feel it the same way or at all when you're sitting in a 70 ton aircraft. At skid on set, the brakes will on the tire that is skidding release the brake, allowing the wheel to spin up again and then reapply the brake. You'll be able to see on the eCam display a REL message, a release message on that wheel and that wheel only. The anti-skid system is deactivated below 20 knots ground speed, so it's not functional when you're just taxiing around. It is there for takeoff and landing. And we must have the on-off switch here for the anti-skid nose wheel steering set to the on position as it is here, up, because this allows for normal braking and for anti-skid to be operating. Remember, anti-skid is only available when you have the function of the brake steering control unit, not if you're operating with only the alternate brake control unit.